So I had made good friends uh, with a girl by the name of Helen Brown. Helen was the niece of uh, Hubie Brown, and uh, she was a very religious girl, but uh, she was also nice to be around, and so we decided we would live together the next year. All, all that summer, I worked at uh, the cafe, Sutton's Cafe in Provo, and I saved every bit of money that I could so that I would be able to uh, work for board and room. I mean, wouldn't have to work for board and room. I lived um, uh, at a place uh, where I had some friends stay, uh, a sister Tuttle, and she was a lovely lady. She took a great deal of interest in what I was doing, and we hoped that we'd be able to live in Sister Tuttle's house, and it turned out that we did eventually get to, but not right at that time. And um, while I was there, her husband was selling, uh, what's the name of these famous knits that last forever? Pendleton? Uh, no, it wasn't Pendleton. There's another one that they sell in, in Utah and in the Intermountain West. <clears throat> Can't think of the name, but if I hear it, I'll, Butte Knits, that's what it was. Well, he was selling Butte Knits, and he had uh, several samples uh, that he had used that year, and new samples came in. So he let me have the samples for just what they'd cost him, uh, which was not much at all, and those were the kind of uh, clothes that just lasted forever. And so my sophomore year, I was all set up with these Butte Knits, which were pretty special, and I felt real good about that. Well, uh, just a bit before school started, I had a, a letter from uh, Helen, and she said, would you mind uh, looking for a place for three instead of two? She said, I have a friend from our ward that's coming down to school, and she would like to live with us. So I immediately uh, began looking for a place for three. The apartment that Sister Tuttle had uh, would take six, and so I knew I couldn't take that. And um, so I looked around, and that was when we found a little house on Six North. It was a little, uh, well, it had a, a, I guess you could say it was a two-room house. It had a kitchen and a bedroom and a bath. And uh, so in the kitchen there was a hide-a-bed type thing that opened up for a bed. So two could sleep in the bedroom and one on the hide-a-bed. So we were set up for the three of us. Well, when they arrived, that's when I met Idon, Idon Chadwick. And it was a very interesting thing. Much as I liked Helen, with in just hours, I knew that Idon was a bosom buddy. It was hard um, to be as cordial to Helen as I'd been before because I just enjoyed Idon so much better. We just really hit it off. And I, it wasn't that I liked Helen any less. It was just that uh, there was a certain stiffness that she had that Idon didn't. And so we just had to work at both of us, as a matter of fact, uh, to try to do what we ought to do. We got along very well. But Helen uh, was a year ahead of me in school, and she was taking out her three-year normal. So she finished. Okay. That was, um, the no it was a normal degree. They would allow them to teach elementary school with three years of college, and that's what she was going for. So at the end of that year, Helen had her normal degree, and uh, that left Idon and me to get together for the next year.